Within printmaking, <laughs> <laughs> within printmaking, there's so many mediums that mm. um, the tra like you can transfer things and it'll come out differently between woodcut, lithography, silkscreen, okay. uh, etching, all that. What influences you to make artwork? And oh, well, are you influenced by stories or um, other artists? Generally influenced by. It used to be a lot of, of stories actually, but currently I'm very influenced by uh, other artists. Like I've been looking at this artist Oskar Kokoschka, writing about him for my art history thesis, and just I looked at, at one of his paintings one day, and I decided to draw it just to get a feel of what he was doing yeah. at the time. And then I realized like when you tr I tried to do exactly the same thing I was looking at. I'm pretty good at that, but when you go from painting to drawing it changed the image completely to an almost irrecognizable form. And so that's why I want to integrate into my senior project of doing different forms within that. Awesome. So show me what you're working on right now. Okay. <laughs> um, currently, this is, um, I blew up an image into a collage. Okay. This is the original thing I was talking about. Um, that I just tried to draw like the painting doesn't look anything like it. Oh well, I see what you're talking about now. So that's the original. Yeah, it's trying to Yeah, it's trying to imitate the brush strokes, but because the brush strokes seem so different with pencil, it comes out differently. So eventually I've just been working with this exact same drawing. I did this collage, this is in lithography, silk screen, and this is a printout of that drawing. Oh, so interesting. just the different forms of media kinda changes it. Especially like the hand, like the lithography has a more soft kind of almost uh, crayon like hand whereas silk train is so direct and so crisp interesting and then i just blew up the image and added some of my own work onto his work just to feel like i'm doing something for, with myself too and i love how it turns out it's way different thank you. yeah like it's definitely well the contrast is obviously way higher i mean if you want to look at the at the painting i could show it That's the painting. I mean, there are similarities, but oh, okay. the strokes like change. I think it's like so. It, I was just shocked with like how different it can come out to be. Yeah. It's like I was looking at the same thing yet the form that I defined it completely yeah. weird. I didn't want to do the people, but that. It's interesting to see the the original and then see where. I guess I, to see where your mind goes. Yeah. Like where it ends up to be. And also, you can tell a lot about like hand like a person's artistic hand just I guess my lines are slightly bolder and also because it's graphite and it's not paint it's a different thing and when you asked me about what I was influenced I used to do lots of work based on Puerto Rican history oh, okay so there's some works of that they're all like historical instances but I thought it was too obvious so I just like shifted from it it's very graphic wow it's amazing I love the detail thank you I don't think I have any more. That's what I used to do. Great. No, this is this is interesting work. That's an etching. Um, like pretty much, you start um, carving away on a copper plate, and with different, like submitting it in acid, would get the different tonality. Mm. So you can. Con uh, the more time it spends exposed to the acid, the more darker the image will get. So we, there are ways to like cover certain areas just to keep. Uh, a more like lighter tone and then keep the rest like taking in more copper and making it darker. This is pretty interesting. The other one was woodcut. I'm generally more inclined to doing woodcuts. How long does it take you to do a piece, you think? Depends. Like, yeah, I'm it currently depends. working on like this giant one. Oh wow. So that's great. <laughs> and it's I cut it up because I couldn't handle the entire board. And it's pretty I'm trying to do that. Oh okay. Into a woodcut. So <laughs> This took me, my professor wanted for a week, it's been two weeks, so <laughs> I haven't, I need to print it by Tuesday. And how do you print it? Uh, so you put paint on it, and then you just... Yeah, you put ink on it. Okay. Um, but also, there are ways with a woodcut that you can get more layers, because that's, like, that's one layer only, it's only brown. Okay. But there's this thing called a reduction wood block, where you carve. 
you ink it up Ooh. and you pass it through the press, print it, then you take the piece again and you keep on carving more. So those areas will become ex like you and put a different color. And so you have these overlapping of colors above it. And that's what I'm planning to do with this one. If time allows. Yeah. <laughs> Time's always an enemy. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, thanks so much.